Welcome to the Inner Voice. This is Pastor Tech of the Friends of Jesus Christ in Canada. Again, friends, we're here to study the Word of the Lord. We are told that uh, the, the Word of the Lord is living, it is active, it is powerful. It is sharper than a two double-edged sword, and it penetrates to the division of soul and spirit, bones and marrows, and it is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. And that's the reason why we are studying uh, the, uh, the scripture, that we may come to know more about these things, that this will minister to us. And so today, our topic is uh, prayer. Uh, prayer e panalangin. Paano nga, nga ba tayo manalangin? So many times we say that, you know, you pray, and uh, people pray, but some won't pray. Why? Uh, maybe because they don't truly understand what prayer is, and so we shall be studying it today. Ngayon may isang uh, bata na nanalangin. Ang sabi niya, uh, Mami, I don't know how to pray. Ang sabi ng mami sa kanya, Well, sabi mo lang yung mga naririnig mo sa akin. Uh, so, the mother invited friends. And so that was during the meal. Uh, when uh, they were about to, uh, to eat their meal, uh, so the mother said, Okay, now pray now. But I don't know how to pray. Just say what mom uh, uh, had been saying. And so, uh, the girl closed his eyes or her eyes, and said, Lord, why on earth have I invited all these guests? Yeah. <laughs> Yan ang naririnig niya, sinasabi ng mami niya. But again, a prayer is communi uh, communing with God, talking to God in a loving manner. See, when we pray, uh, we pray either to present our petition or to just thank God for all His blessings. Uh, many times we just uh, pray because we are just so overwhelmed with uh, all the blessings that the Lord had given us. And so tonight, those are the things that uh, we are to, uh, to discuss. Again, uh, do we know how to pray? You know, there was a time when I asked someone to pray during the meal. And uh, we closed our eyes and we waited for him. But, uh, you know, after five minutes, nothing came out of his mouth and said, No, you are going to pray. But said, No, Pastor, can you just do the prayer? Friends, prayer is communing with God, talking to God, and uh, just like expressing yourself to someone, to a friend. And uh, we know that God hears our prayers and He answers prayers. And so don't be shy and don't be afraid to, uh, to utter a word. Okay, matakot, walang naka, nakakatakot sa panalangin. Para bang kausap mo ang Panginoon. Uh, malalaman natin mamaya kung bakit natin makakausap ang Panginoon ng dapat natin uh, pangungusap sa Kanya the way that we should talk to Him. And so, uh, don't go away. Uh, let's continue on in the next seg segment. And so, meantime, let's have a short break. Welcome back to the Inner Voice. Earlier, we said that uh, prayer is uh, talking to God, uh, like uh, just communing with God. And so, uh, the first uh, thing that we get to do now is, what is prayer? So, what is prayer? In Jeremiah 33.3, we are told here, Call to me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. So, this is a prayer, calling on God talking to God and he said that call to me and I will answer you so this is not uh, something that you do and expect nothing uh, in response no he said that you call to me and I will answer you because even the Lord Jesus Christ in his teaching in Matthew 7 7 to 8 he said that ask and it shall be given to you knock and the door will be open to you seek and you shall find those are the things that Jesus had said and so friends uh, prayer is actually asking uh, things from God or expressing your, your thoughts. Uh, many times we express praise, thanks, faith, confession, and expressing our inner spiritual needs to God. That's how we pray. And that's why we need to pray because there are needs that has to be met within. Now, uh, why do people do are uh, experience parang emptiness sometimes. Parang uh, maraming kakulangan ang tao. Uh, and sometimes, tanungin mo, uh, na-bless ka ba? Hindi pa eh. Uh, naghihintay siya ng blessing. Pero ang tanong natin dito, siya ba'y tumatawag sa Diyos? 
baka hindi tumatawag sa Diyos. Kaya sa James chapter 4 verse 2, You receive not because you ask not. Kaya wala kang natatanggat na blessing kasi hindi ka humihingi. <laughs> Amen. At tulad nito, may mga anak ako. Uh, there are six of them. So, when they were young, of course, I know their needs. Do I know their needs? Of course, I know. I'm the father. I'm a good father of the family. So, I know their needs. But will I give it to them? No. Unless they ask of it. Kasi baka mga may bigay ako ng bigay, hindi naman nila kailangan talaga. No, I could perceive that they would need it. But maybe to them, it's not really a priority. It's not really a need now. And so I don't just give. Ganon din ang Panginoon. Alam niya yung needs natin. Di ba sabi niya niya eh, even before you ask, I already know what you're asking. But how come the Lord is not giving? Because we are told here that we don't receive because we don't ask. Humingi tayo. Amen. And so uh, we have to do that, friends, if we want to be blessed. Uh, again, how should we pray? How should I pray? So Matthew 6, 9 to 13. You know, one time the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, came to him and said, Lord, teach us how to pray in the same way that John had been teaching his disciples to pray. <laughs> Amen. Kasi sabi mo kanina, maraming sa, hindi marunong mag-pray. And they don't know what to say. And we, though we said that, you know, it's just talk to God. But still, they are afraid to uh, utter a word. So, Jesus taught them how to pray. And so, in Matthew 6, and this is how the Lord Jesus Christ uh, taught them. And uh, from verse 9 to 13. This is the Lord's Prayer. And, uh, it's known as the Lord's Prayer. And sabi dito, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil or from the evil one. And so, friends, there are so many things that we can learn from here. He started, so if you pray, you say this. No. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. So address it to the Father. <laughs> Amen. You know, we, we consider ourselves as children of God. You know, because in John chapter 12, uh, 1, verse 12, we are told that if we believe, if we receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, then we become children of God. We have the right to become children of God. And so if we are children, then we call him our Father. And then he said, hallowed be your name. May your name be glorified. Holy is your name. You know why? Because, again, if you come to, uh, uh, to someone and uh, present your petition, you should address them properly. Kahit na yung mga, mga hari dito, punta ka sa Queen ng England, Your Majesty, tawag nila, you have to honor, give honor if you want uh, to be blessed. Kaya sabi dito na, you glorify the name of the Lord. You know, in the beginning, glorify. When He blesses you, glorify Him again. Amen. So, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And then, the next thing is, your kingdom come. If we understand this, friends, I think that uh, we will so be blessed. Now, it's very liberating to know that God, the Lord Jesus Christ, can come here and reign here. So when we say that thy kingdom come, we are telling Jesus to come and reign in us, among us. Come and fulfill your plans and your purposes here on earth as it is in heaven. Because God has a plan for us. Amen. And so sabi dito, your kingdom come. We are now the subject of your kingdom. We are now your, your, your people. And then sabi dito, uh, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Sabi dito, no, it's not my will. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ, when He prayed, Matthew 26, 39, Not my will, Lord, but thine be done. Meron akong sariling kagustuhan, pero hindi. Kasi God's will is best for us. Amen. So sabi na, Lord, hindi akin. Your will be done. Ano pa? Give us this day our daily bread. Eh sabi dito, kailangan natin ang araw-araw. This is a daily dependence on God. Our daily bread. When we talk of daily bread, it's just the physical bread. You know, it... it 
it, it, it can be in the form also of a job because that brings the bread. <laughs> Amen. Our health. Kung ano man ang kailangan natin, what we need to survive for the day. So give us this day our daily bread or everything else that we need to survive for the day. Amen. But he said, but forgive us our debts as we forgive those who, uh, who are indebted to us. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Amen. So mahalaga dito kasi ang sabi ni Jesus, unless you forgive, you won't be forgiven. And so sabi, kailangan humingi tayo ng araw-araw kasi araw-araw nagkakasala tayo. Pero sabi dito, papatawarin, patawarin mo ko Lord tulad ng pagpapatawad ko sa iba. So kung hindi tayo magpatawad sa iba, hindi rin tayo papatawad ng Panginoon. Amen. Hindi ba? And so we have to say that, uh, Lord, forgive us this day our uh, sins and trespasses and then lead, lead us not into temptation. No. So, sinasabi natin dito, Lord, lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from the evil one. And so, friends, uh, this is uh, what we are uh, talking about today, prayer. Jesus taught us how to pray. And so, those are the things that we have to understand in the prayer that Jesus gave us, the pattern that he had given us. And so, towards the end, sabi, ang sabi ng Panginoon, Lord, lead us not into temptation. So, may each one of us not be tempted. Amen. But be delivered from the evil one. Because in the end, friends, the reason why we are praying is because we want to be blessed. And so, for us to be blessed, we have to do those things. Especially, uh, repenting of our sins. Let us forgive one another. But later on, let's uh, deal more on these things in the next segment and try to understand more and try to apply it. Because there are so many things that have to be learned in this uh, prayer that Jesus had uh, taught us. And so, again, uh, we'll come back, so don't go away, and let's have this short break. Okay, welcome back to The Inner Voice. Again, we said earlier that our topic for tonight is prayer, and this is just a part one of it. We shall have a part two. And so, uh, we were taught by the Lord Jesus Christ how to pray and uh, using the Lord's Prayer. Now, uh, knowing uh, how to pray now, uh, using that as a pattern, where will you go to pray? And so, our friends, uh, Jesus again had uh, taught us where to pray. Go to your prayer room, Matthew 6, 5 to 6. See, he was talking about uh, uh, the, uh, the hypocrites saying that, you know, some hypocrites would come and pray in the temple is standing. Some would stand on the street corner and pray. For what purpose? Are they, are they wanting to communicate to God or not? Well, it is for show, for men to see them pray. See, it's just for show. It's not really uh, like uh, from their hearts. So he, is, he was saying that, you know, when you pray, you go to your room. Don't go into the street corner for men to see you because God the Father who is unseen will see you. Amen. So he said that go into you and close the door and God will answer your, your prayers. Now, where is your room, your prayer room? <laughs> Where's your prayer room? You mean if I need to pray now, I have to go to a room and look for a room and pray? Well, what he was saying here is that shut the door off. You know, just Surround yourself with the presence of God. Don't be distracted. Don't allow yourselves to be disturbed by people around you. Even if you are on a corner, even if you are seated there, you can pray. Just don't allow yourselves to be distracted. Huwag mo hayaan na sila ay maging istorbo sa'yo. Sabi dito, isara mo pinto mo. So hindi, it's not a physical room that you have to go to. Well, if you have a physical prayer room, it's even better uh, because there shall be no disturbances. Right, you can concentrate, concentrate on God at kailang dalawa. And then you can do that, those prayers, you know, and say that, oh, Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name. And those things, you know, you keep, uh, you keep, uh, you have to use that as a pattern now in praying, presenting your petition to God. But always remember, friends, that uh, God sees us wherever we are. Amen. And so, even quietly, 
where you are, you can pray, you can commune with God. Because prayer is talking to God. It's not, not talking to people. So don't go around and say that, you know, you're praying and you're, your eyes wide open, your eyes wide open. And that is also the reason why we close our eyes. Because we don't want to be distracted. You now you could be praying and then suddenly someone pass by and then, wow, new dress, oh, new bag. Oh. And everything else that could distract you, nakikita mo yan, di ba? Kaya sabi dito, isara mo, pumasok ka sa pintuan mo, isara mo pinto, so hindi ka ma, di, may isturbo sa panalangin mo. Amen. And God who sees you in secret, we are told, will reward you openly. See, what you do in secret, God will reward you openly. Makikita pag dumating ang reward. Si pag binigyan ka ng buhay, pwede mong itago. Yun, kung ang reward mo ay bahay o kotse, hindi, di ba? It's open, it will be seen. And also, do not keep on bubbling. So, Matthew 7, 8, sabi dito, pag nanalangin tayo, huwag tayong laging, yung parang bata, bubbling, nagsasalita lang hindi naintindihan, or paulit-ulit, yung uh, vain repetition. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, Matthew 6, uh, no, 7 to 8, <clears throat> So did that. And when you pray, do not keep on bubbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not, like, uh, do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. And so don't uh, keep repeating. The, the, the uh, Lord's Prayer was given to us as a pattern. Amen. Uh, so you can, you can uh, pray that, but put yourself into that, you know. Uh, talagang f from your heart you pray that prayer. Ngayon, sabi niya, huwag yung paulit-ulit na parang walang meaning. You know, so many times, how many times do you have to repeat your prayer a day? So when you come before God, parang ito, mag-usap tayo. Uh, huwag yung paulit-ulit. Kasi kung paulit-ulit ka, pag anak ko, pag paulit-ulit, ayot ang uyo na siya, tumahimik ka nga. Hindi <laughs> ba? So, ang sabi ng Panginoon, don't keep repeating these things in vain, yung vain repetition. But you have to pray it from your heart. So a fervent prayer avails much. Amen. It's a fervent prayer that the Lord will answer. And so we have to be ser ser serious and sincere and let us go to that solitary place that we, you know, that we have designated. And uh, friends, in my particular case, I have my own uh, prayer spot at home. It's not a room, but a spot in my room. <laughs> Amen. Child, my children will come by. I don't really care. You know, I'm not distracted by them for as long as I am in that position. You know, so I, keep pray, I, I pray, I lift my hands, I bow before God, and I do my, uh, my prayer. And so if it helps, then do so. You have to designate a spot in your house where you can pray. Now, uh, if you don't have that spot, it doesn't mean again that you cannot pray anywhere because God is everywhere. <laughs> Amen. So, sa trabaho, ganun din, if you are at work. You know why we pray? Because we are in need. You know, we need the, the grace of God. You know, we need uh, to, to be instructed, to be guided by God even through our prayers. Because as I said earlier, prayer is a two-way. Amen. It's not one way. It is not just you uttering everything else and then expecting no reply at all. I think that's another reason why a lot of people are not blessed. You know why? Ganun nga. Nananalangin sila. Ang hawa-hawa na panalangin. Pagkatapos, amen. Lakad na sila. They don't have time or they will not spend time to wait on God to answer their prayers. Amen. Para bang tayo salita ng salita, tapos okay na, babay na, lakad na ako. And so friends, this is uh, what we have learned tonight, that uh, when we pray, let's spend time really listening also to God. Because prayer is talking to God. It's not possible, friends, that you are, we will just do the talking, and then God will not be talking to you. But how will God talk to you? Again, that's another issue and another topic that we will have next time. Because God speaks to us through His words. Amen. So when you pray, go before God, express your, your, your heart to God, 
uh, sincerely uh, pleading for grace, for mercy, and then uh, 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 presenting your petitions and expect God to answer, to answer your prayers. Huwag lang manalangin ka pagkatapos parang baliwala. A lot of uh, people, they do it just uh, to relieve themselves. Ay, nakapanalangin na ako. But did they expect an answer? Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, sa kanila, it's just a ritual. But friends, prayer is powerful. If you ever you will win your battle, it's because of prayer. And so the key to winning battles now is prayer, prayer, and prayer. And so let's keep praying. And that's the reason why we are learning and we are studying this topic tonight. I know that you are praying. I know that uh, uh, sometimes uh, you, you encounter problems and uh, you also go on your knees and pray. But has the Lord been answering your prayers? Maybe not. Maybe yes, I don't know. But to be sure, we have to go through everything that is needed for us to be assured of an answer to our prayers. So, paulit-ulit natin, sabi nga natin, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. And so, friends, thank you for joining us, the inner voice. Again, the Lord will continue to speak to us through the inner voice, the Holy Spirit that is in us. And so, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may His face shine upon self you and be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace. Shalom. God bless you.